Uh, good morning, people of the world, I guess. It's finally time that I show you my daily driver and kind of talk about it a little bit because it's so cool, I guess. So I'm not sure how good this is gonna work. Probably have to reposition it here. But here is my 1995 Mazda MX-3 with the P6D, I believe, in it. Um, imported from Japan, 25-year-old car. I had to do a lot of work on it to get it to be a daily driver. Obviously not so much the interior work, but uh, it needed entirely new exhaust from the headers back thanks to HKS and DNA racing. Um, if you've never driven in one of these cars before, it's pretty cool. It's like having a race car and an economy car kind of all in one. Um, similar to the Honda engines with that like VTEC in it. At the higher RPMs, this thing will just go. And it doesn't take much to get it there either. Right now, shout out to Zach Job and Nolan and everybody at Donut Media, Uncle Tony's Garage, um, what's the other one? Engineering Explained. That one was a great one. Engineering Explained. It basically helped me figure out how to rebuild everything in my engine bay the right way. Um, sure that I'm forgetting someone. Oh yeah, shout out to um, my friend Rich who runs the Damn Grass Show and also the Damn Show, Damn Music Festival in Austin, Pennsylvania. Definitely worth checking out. Um, Sage's Automotive for doing the actual inspection. I would say car nut, but they overcharged me and put pieces on, or said they put pieces on, which is another reason. It's important to like do your homework, guys. Just check it stuff out. If you really trust your mechanic, it's one thing. If you actually have a good relationship with them. But a lot of shops will like charge you for stuff they don't actually do or they'll do the stuff wrong and still charge you for it and don't even get me started on like dealerships charging you like eighty dollars for a flipping oil change back to having a 25 year old antique i guess it's not even a classic anymore it's an antique car at this point as your daily driver. So you get a lot of looks. Um, some people hate it, whether it's cause it's an import or they think you're, they think you're whatever. You think that you're Doc Holliday trying to build a DeLorean. Um, and that some people just love it. Dude, I had a 16 year old kid come up to me when I was at the gas station. He's like, is that your car? Is this I thought it was a Honda Del Sol, and you know how much money that thing's worth? I'm like, no, it's pretty rare though, and one of the reasons that I do it is for that kind of love like that. I found uh, someone driving an NSX, an Acura NSX earlier, and we 
followed each other around for a little bit. I don't know who he is, but we're friends now. Because that's just kind of how that works. Don't cut me off. You cut me off. Against the rules, so you better go, bro. 